I will leave you alone at first. Just read the poems and shoot whatever your instinct suggests. I believe the artist must make his own time. <laughs> but just keep in touch. You can ring me anytime, day or night. Would you like to tell me of the sad passing of your wife? I'm practically over it now. I don't want to talk about it here. She was a beautiful woman, but life must go on. Michael, Paris, la ville de l'amour. Bastard. Nice to be here, huh? Okay. Michael, get some rest. Sure. I will call you later and maybe we'll eat together. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you are ever hungry. Around the corner, there is a little restaurant. One of the best in Paris. You just have the honor you are a friend of mine, okay? Okay, I'll see you. Uh, wait a minute. What's that? French money. You are going to need some. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks very much, champ. Oh, Marcel, darling. Did you get my flowers? Yes, the flowers are wonderful, thank you. I for a beautiful lady. Look, tonight I've planned a wonderful night. First we have dinner, and then we go to a disco and dance until dawn. We'll do the whole of Paris. Oh, oh, I don't know. I've had a rather tiring and trying plane trip. Let's just have a quiet dinner, all right? Look, tonight, Jackie, I uh, want you in my arms, huh? Marcel, unless you behave. Look, Jackie, I behaved last time. Promise. All right, all right, I'll be a good boy. All right, see you at eight. <sighs> well, old girl, you've got us a trip to Paris. Let's see what we can do to justify ourselves, eh? This one is 2,000 francs. That's not what you quoted to me on the phone. 
This is a Paris fashion, huh? Marcel, we go through this each year. Now, why do you do this to okay, me? Okay, you think about it. Bonjour, Hotel de Crillon. Mademoiselle White. I'm afraid she's not here, monsieur. She has gone for a ride in the Bois de Boulogne. Well, fancy meeting you here. Gee, Prince Charming. Would you have dinner with me tonight? No. Tomorrow? No. What about Friday? No. In fact, I'm free for the rest of my life. Just, just pick a day. What's the matter? You're so quiet. Oh, it's been a busy day. I have a headache. Uh, can I get you something? Yeah, the Mona Lisa, please. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Will you have dinner with me? And I'm serious. I don't have a moment to myself. Not even this moment that I had to myself do I have to myself. I'm sorry. Mm. Why? You are so different. You're, you're so quiet. It's because if I shout, I'll get thrown out of this carriage. Please? Please? Look, if I had one dinner time, if I had one, one lunch time, if I had one any time, do you know who I'd spend it with? Me. Now, that's nothing personal. I mean, you could be a very nice guy for all I know. But in my world, I don't have time to find out. Yes. Jacqueline, you are late. Yes, Henri, I know I'm late. I do not like being kept waiting. I will be ready in half an hour. Half an hour? Mais non, now. I've just got in, for Christ's sake, and I have to take a shower. I will come up. I will be down when I am ready. I'll be frank with you, Michael. This is not what I am looking for. You believe that, don't you? Yes. What's the matter? You seem preoccupied. I've come all this way. It's cost a lot of money. I don't intend to blow it. Hey, wait. Wait a minute. I did not say they were that bad. Henri, I did not come all this way to be screwed by every good-looking Frenchman. Tonight, I am tired. I have had a headache all day. And I don't even feel hungry. But I am prepared to talk business because you have been so bloody persistent about it. So let's talk business. But if you keep trying to get into my bed, I shall get up and bloody well walk out of here. Or I shall scream. Oh, my. Henri, it is enough. 